Hello everyone. I wanted to get you started on the Dales Freight Fuel Report. Um, we're going to work on part one and then um, I'll set you loose to do parts two and part three um, on your own. The first part, assuming that we've already assigned um, a name to uh, for the spreadsheet for step one, we're going to start here at step two, which is naming some tabs, sheet tabs. So at the very bottom of the spreadsheet, I'm going to call the first one the sheet one mileage. And, and the next one is going to be um, fuel consumption. And we're going to hit the plus sign to add a new sheet. And we're going to call that one fuel report. I'm going to click back on to the mileage worksheet. And I'm then going to add um, a column and a couple rows. So I'm going to click on that. Now I right click. You can go up to the insert and and, in, and add a, a, a column there, but I like to just right click on that and hit enter or insert. And we're going to insert two rows as well. And the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to add the trucks that we're going to, or for our fleet of trucks, we're going to add the names of the trucks. So D, Dale's Freight DF0. 405 and then Dale's Freight 410 and Dale's Freight 415. Now I could continue to type this all the way down through my spreadsheet, but a better way to do it is to highlight this and use the fill handle on the very corner and then just have them populate the rest of the trucks down. Notice how that does that. Now, since I already have them copy, uh, highlighted, I'm going to copy this and um, go to the fuel consumption report and add those trucks um, to that report as well as well as the fuel report and we're going to add those trucks assuming later on we're going to come back and manipulate uh, the fuel report portion and now what we're going to do is we're going to add a title to this so we're going to call this the week 40 mileage report and the next row down we're going to type in truck and then we're going to move to cell B2 and type in Monday or just a part of the Monday MON. Now um, Excel is pretty smart so I'm going to actually populate Monday through Friday. Notice how I do that with the, the fill handle and it'll populate those um, days in there for me. Next thing we're going to do is type or uh, click into cell G2 and type uh, total miles per... well I can't type today per truck and hit enter and Let's center these real quick and make them bold. Okay. And let's make some room. So I went in between these two columns and I got this little uh, double handled um, uh, pointer. And I double click and it widened the column as wide as the um, data that's in it. So again, all I have to do is double click it and it'll make it the exact width that is necessary. You can make it wider uh, manually by just drag, holding the mouse button and dragging it, but it's just as easy just to double click and, and it makes it size just perfect for you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. We're going to add some titles to the very bottom. Uh, the first one will be Total Miles and then average miles and minimum miles what, is, what we're doing is we're setting up for um, to use some 
functions to calculate the minimum and maximum uh, mileage as well as the average and the totals. Okay, now that we have those, we're going to go up and make the column wide enough for those totals, for those um, labels. And now we're going to go up for step seven, we're going to go up to cell G3 and we're going to type the formula. And first what we do to start a formula is you hit the equal sign and now it's expecting an equation of some sort. We're going to put in a simple argument of F2, or I'm sorry, F3 minus B3. Now you could type this, um, but notice that what's happening is when um, I'm typing this, it um, highlights the cell reference of B3 and F3, and it shows that. Another way to do that would be to just click on those cells. Once you hit the equal sign, it will do the same thing. And what we've done is we've just taking, taken the difference between the Friday mileage and the Monday mileage to to tell what the total mileage for the week has been. Now, now that we've had that, um, we can either continue to type in that same formula all the way down, or we can simply use the fill handle and fill in those amounts all the way down because we're using relative cell reference. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to total this because I want to know what the total mileage for truck is so I'm going to go up to up here to auto sum and it's already highlighted the right um, cells and I'm going to hit enter and then it comes up with the amount for us. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the average as well as the minimum and maximum so I'm going to go up to since I'm in the average field, I'm going to go up to this handle here and I'm going to say average and automatically I hit um, the average function and it's highlighted the cells. Unfortunately though, it's highlighted the total of the, all the cells as well, so it would give me a really strange average. Um, it, so if I hit enter, it comes up with a very large number. So I'm going to click back on that. I'm going to go up to the formula bar and I'm going to change the re cell reference for G53 in that range to G52 and notice how the range changed and then hit enter. And we're going to do the same thing for the minimum and the maximum and um, again it highlights everything above so the first thing I'm going to do again is change that to G52 and the minimum is zero for now and I'm going to do the maximum. Maximum tells us what the largest number in a series is. So again if I were to just hit enter the largest number is obviously the total miles but we're going to highlight that go into the formula bar and change that to 52. Now obviously the minimum is minimum miles is zero because we have some trucks that are out of service. Now, that's really an irrelevant number since they are out of service. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete those zeros for the trucks that were out of service. So we're just calculating the information for the trucks that were in service. Later on, when we're calculating the average um, for all trucks, we're going to want to leave those um, zeros in there to get true average of, of all the miles. But we'll be that'll be during when you're using them the fuel report part. Now next thing we're going to do is um, scroll up here and we're going to select cell A1 and we're going to drag that all the way over so we're selecting the series um, A1 through G1 and we're going to merge and center and then we're going to format the title uh, to be a lot larger and um, Let's see, I think it said 24. Yes, we go to 24. Should be 24, I wrote it. Let's see here. Also, the background, we're going to 
go with green accent six. So in the colors, we're going to go green accent six with darker 25%. There it is, darker 25%. And then we're going to make the text white so it shows up really well. Now we're going to highlight all these cells and we're going to format this as a table. We're going to go to the table, uh, format as table button on the home tab in the styles group. And then we're going to select the table style light 21, which is this green one with no border or no top border. And again, it's asking us the table format or format table as um, dialog box is confirming the cells that we want and we're going to hit OK. And now it's given us a way for us to look at a lot of data and have some guidelines so where we don't lose our data across the, the rows. Next thing we're going to do is format the titles down here. Let's do make all these bold. I think that's what the instructions are saying. I'm a little, probably a little ahead of myself now, but we can't make those all bold. And um, what I like to do is make a progressive color change. So um, if we were starting at 80, um, we'd make one here, kind of a rainbow green, and um, progressively make them darker so they're offset from each other. And that should be it for step or part two of this assignment. Um, if there's any questions, you can certainly email me. Um, we're going to be doing a similar format uh, when we get to the fuel consumption part in part two. Um, you'll notice that there are only four. These are going to be considered days of the week. And what you'll be doing, you're going to be adding a column here. And because trucks fuel on Fridays or towards the end of the week there's no need for them typically to fuel on a Monday so you're going to be adding a empty column for Monday's totals. Uh, that should be about it for uh, part um, one and on to part two when you're calculating the fuel consumption. Thanks.